Hello viewers, thank you for joining me on this class on integration by partial fractions. We will consider the case of denominators with repeated linear factors. We will start by finding the value of the integral 1 over x minus 1 squared into x plus 1 dx. Here, there is a repeated factor in this denominator. This is because the, the factor x minus 1 appears twice. So we are going to write it as 1 over x minus 1 squared into x plus 1 is equal to a over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 1 squared plus c over x plus 1. So, if we add, we will have 1 over x minus 1 squared into x plus 1 is equal to uh, the denominator is um, uh, the, the LCM will be x minus 1 squared into x plus 1. So on the numerator we will have a into x minus 1 into x plus 1 plus b into x plus 1 plus c into x minus 1 raised to power 2. So the fractions on the left and right are equal for all values of x. The denominators are equal, so we can equate the, the numerators. So that will be 1 is equal to a into x minus 1 into x plus 1 plus b into x plus 1 plus c into x minus 1 all raised to power 2. Let's um, label this equation star. So we call it equation star and uh, we can easily refer to it. So we want to find the values for A, B and C. We will do that by substitution. So if we substitute, if we substitute x equal to 1 in equation star, we are going to have 1 is equal to a into 1 minus 1 into 1 plus 1 plus b into 1 plus 1 plus c into 1 minus 1 all raised to power 2. So we can see that this is equal to 0. This is also equal to 0. Then the equation reduces to 1 equal to 2b. Here we have 1 plus 1 multiplied by b giving us 2b. That implies that b is equal to 1 over 2. So we've gotten a value for b. We have to also get values for a and c so now we are going to substitute we are going to substitute x equal to minus one into equation star so that will give us one is equal to a into minus 1 minus 1 into 
minus 1 plus 1 plus b into minus 1 plus 1 plus c into minus 1 minus 1 all raised to power 2. So sometimes we'll go to 0. This is 0 and this is 0. We'll be left with c on this side. So we'll have 1 is equal to minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Minus 2 squared is 4. So we have 4c on the right hand side. So if 4c is equal to 1, then it implies that c is equal to 1 quarter. Next, we will get a value for a. Now let's um, uh, let x be equal to 0 so that we will substitute x equal to 0 in equation star. So that will be that will be equation star is um, 1 is equal to a into x minus 1 into x plus 1 plus b into x plus 1 plus c into x minus 1 all raised to power 2. So that's the equation term star. We are going to replace x with 0 in this equation. So we will have 1 is equal to a into 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 into 0 plus 1 plus b into 0 plus 1 plus c into 0 minus 1 all raised to power 2. So this is going to give us 1 is equal to here we have 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1 multiplied by a we have minus a on this side plus plus here we have 1 b which is the same as b and also we have here plus 1 c which is the same as c so we have 1 is equal to minus a plus b plus c we already have values for b and c so we are going to put them into this equation in order to obtain a value for a so this is going to be 1 is equal to minus a plus b is 1 over 2 plus c c is 1 over 4 so that will be 1 is equal to minus a plus 3 over 4. Adding this to gives 3 over 4. So that if we simplify, we will have we will have a is equal to minus 1 over 4. So that's the value for a. Now, since we already have values for the constants a, b, and c, we can now go back to the integral. The integral becomes integral of integral of 1 over x minus 1 squared into x plus 1 dx is equal to integral of we are going to substitute the values for a b and c integral of minus 1 over 4 into 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 over 2 into 1 over x minus 1 all raised to power 2 plus 
1 over 4 into 1 over x plus 1 dx. So, we're going to simplify further by writing this integral as minus 1 over 4 into integral of dx over x minus 1 plus 1 over 2 into integral of dx over x minus 1 all raised to power 2 plus 1 over 4 into integral of dx over x plus 1. So if we evaluate the integrals, we will have minus 1 over 4 here. Uh, the integral of dx over x minus 1 is ln absolute value of x minus 1 plus 1 over 2 into here. We can express this integral as the integral of x minus 1 raised to power minus 2 dx plus the value of this integral is 1 over 4 lean absolute value of x plus 1 plus the constant of integration. So using the properties of logarithms this can be written as we can write this as minus 1 over 4. Mm, okay, we can cancel this minus here. We can write this as 1 over 4 lean absolute value of x plus 1 all over x minus 1 plus half into now if we integrate this if we integrate this integral we will have x minus 1 raised to power minus 2 plus 1 all divided by minus 2 plus 1 plus c so this can finally be written as 1 over 4 lean absolute value of x plus 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over 2 into x minus 1 plus c. So that is our final result. Um, you can practice with this uh, this is an exercise you can practice by following the same steps that we took in solving this problem just now. We have to find the value of integral of 1 over x plus 3 all squared multiplied by x minus 1 dx. So try to solve this by following the steps we have taken in solving this particular problem. Okay, um, let me know what your result is. Put your result in the comment section and I'll be glad to reply you. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and share. And also subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. Thanks.